What's up guys, it's Krista Sue. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me today. Today I am going to be showing you guys what I got from my very first Princess Polly haul. I was always a bit apprehensive to buy from Princess Polly because you can only get their stuff online, you can't go to them in store because they are an Australian based company I believe and the people that usually promote their stuff on YouTube um, are the same people that promote like Urban Outfitters and stuff and sizing wise Urban Outfitters is pretty hit or miss for me as kind of a mid-sized gal but I decided to take a leap of faith um, because I think their clothes are really cute and I noticed that they do sell sizes like 10 and 12 which is about the size that I am right now I and mean, just see if they fit because um, I know that sometimes clothing brands like that can run a little bit small. I'm going to put my measurements on the screen for you guys so you can get an actual reference of what my size actually is and why some of these clothing pieces may or may not fit me as well. Usually when other YouTubers give a reference, they just put their like pant size and stuff um, and I don't find that particularly helpful on YouTube videos because cameras can kind of distort the way that you look. You, no one ever knows how tall you are and that stuff can really affect your sizing. So I feel like my measurements, height and weight could uh, really help you guys out so I'm gonna put that on the screen for you if you guys like videos like this for me and want to help support my channel definitely hit the like button down below that really helps me out in the algorithm and I would really appreciate it also watching videos for longer amounts of time definitely help me out in the algorithm as well um, and if you do drop off at some point and want to click out let me know why that is um, and I'll definitely adjust my videos so that they are more helpful entertaining and add more value to you guys I want to make content that you want to watch so always let me know down in the comments but yeah let's jump into this and figure out if Princess Polly is thick girl approved first I'm going to show you guys this plaid mini skirt I got um, it is a size 12 and I was actually really scared to order this because mini skirts um, tend to ride up on me and look really short because I do have a bit of a badonka donk. But this, oh, I love it so much. It ended up being way stretchier and a little bit looser than I expected. Um, I actually think I could have gone down a size in this, but um, I kind of like that I can wear this and if I like eat a big meal or something, it's still like super comfortable and not super tight around my stomach. So I really like this one. This one was a hit. I want to order more skirts like this from them. I'm usually not a super skirt kind of girl, but um, I've been digging the style of skirts that are more popular right now. So yeah, that was a hit. Next, I am going to show you guys something that wasn't such a hit. Um, I got these pants. They're just like kind of a khaki colored loungy pant with a uh, stretchy waistband. I got these in a size 12 as well and these did not fit me really. I mean, they, f they got up, but they did not fit me very well. Um, they just kind of accentuate my pooch in the front. They're super tight around my butt um, and they're just like not, they just don't fit really well. They were kind of a miss. Um, so, so far I can kind of tell that their bottoms are really inconsistent. Um, I did not order denim from Princess Polly this time around for that exact reason. Denim online is just a whole other type of online shopping game. It's Denim is so inconsistent and I was really nervous to order denim from them. If that's something you're interested in seeing in the future, totally let me know. I'll order a few. Yeah, these were a miss, which makes me nervous to buy pants from them in the future. Next, I got another skirt, which I'm really, really happy about. It's just this green floral flowy kind of skirt um and this is super super cute it fit me really well i like how it cinches my waist in and kind of uh, accentuates my hourglass figure i really like it um it is a bit sheer um which worries me but i mean with some spanks under it i don't think it'd be a huge deal i like that it's long enough so that i won't flash anyone but it's not too long to where it's kind of an awkward length and not as flattering but yeah really like this skirt all the rest of the stuff that i got were tops i kind of went back and forth between a size 10 and a size 12 in the tops based on reviews if people said stuff ran bigger or smaller referring to reviews on their website is something that i definitely recommend doing their sizing i've noticed is pretty inconsistent and seeing whether or not people felt that it fit true to size was really really helpful i think first up i will show you this cardigan it is just a nude cardigan button up it's really soft um, and flattering. Cardigans are really in right now and I think they're going to continue to be super in in the fall. 
I like cardigan tops like this that are a little bit more fitted and not as um, heavy of a material because they're more flattering on my body. I find that some cardigans can kind of make me look frumpy, um, but I like the cardigans from Princess Polly. This one is in a size 12. I got another cardigan that I am absolutely in love with. It was just this white floral print cardigan with blue and green flowers on it. it. This is super girly for me. It's not something that I would usually go for, but I've kind of been into like girlier styles lately. Um, and it's just so flattering on like my skin tone and I really like it. This one is in a size 10 though, and it still fits me basically the same as the size 12 did. So like I said, that sizing is really inconsistent with them. Definitely refer to reviews and do not be afraid to do returns. I have interacted with their customer service before and um, they're really responsive and helpful, so that's good. On Princess Polly's website, they carry a couple other brands I noticed and um, one of them is Motel. It's kind of a trendy Instagram brand right now. Um, and I got this shirt. I think it was marked as a size 12 on the website, but when I got it, I saw that it says 2XL. And the fact that this is an extra, extra large is just kind of a joke. Um, it fits me. It is a little tight, um, but I'm going to keep it because my size fluctuates so often. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this fit me better like next week. It is a really comfortable cotton ribbed baby tee. Um, it's multiple shades of green and white and uh, I really think it's super cute. It's kind of stupid that it's a double XL though um, and that, that was then that this was the biggest size kind of worries me. So I guess, yeah, keep that in mind if you're ordering from the Motel brand on Princess Polly that they run very, very small. <laughs> Next up is this white beachy tie top. It is in a size 10. I wanted to order a size 10 in this top because on the model it looked pretty oversized and then also in the reviews people said it's more it's a little bit flowier and looser um i did not find that to be the case with this it is a little small on me I, i'll have to figure out a sort of bra situation that'll look flattering because it shows a lot of cleavage haven't figured that out yet but i will keep it um i think it's really cute it just is small and very sheer as well Next up is this white graphic t-shirt with butterflies on it. I got this in a size 12 because I, I kind of wanted a more slouchy fit. I figured their graphic t-shirts would run a little bit more true to size. And it did. It is um, a little loose, kind of how I wanted it. I probably could have gone a size down, but um, it fits the way that I want it to, so I like it. Next up is this leopard print blouse. This is in a size 12 and... This one definitely runs a little bit smaller, I noticed. It has two little ties in the front, and I noticed that there's a gap in between them, and I feel like if it fit me a little bit better, there wouldn't be that gap, and I could wear it without like a tank top or bandeau under it. Next up is this um, white long sleeve kind of knit shirt. I wouldn't exactly classify it as a sweater because it is pretty light. I absolutely love this shirt. I think it's gonna be a staple in my closet. Um, it's just so soft and so flattering. I like the wide scoop because it shows off my collarbone, which I really like. Um, and it is a crop top, but it's not two crops. Um, I've noticed from Princess Polly some of their shirts are like very, very, very cropped. I think the lettuce cut on the top and the bottom kind of gives it a little bit more of a flirtier, girlier touch to it. And I just really like it. I think it's very cute and flattering and kind of just a staple piece. Next is this kind of sage green tie-up blouse. I got this in a 12 as well. Again, this runs a little bit smaller. I think that's just kind of a commonality in their tie front tops. But it does fit me and it is flattering. I like that it cinches in at the waist. But just keep that in mind again, if you're ordering a tie front top, they are gonna run a little bit smaller. Next is this mesh kind of tie-dye shirt. I really like this shirt. Shirts like this are gonna be in in the fall, kind of layering them under t-shirts and stuff. This shirt is a little tight, but that's what I come to expect from mesh t-shirts like this. So I would say this is relatively true to size. This is a size 12 and it fits me fine. Um, it is completely see-through though, so keep that in mind <laughs> when you're shopping for it. Make sure you have like a bra or a bandeau. <laughs> <laughs> We have a setting on our TV now where it'll tell us what volume it is and we if it's it on or off. Yeah, we did it accidentally and now we don't know how to turn it off and it's just kind of become a staple in our daily lives. So that's what that was. 
Next up, I'm going to show you some tank tops that I got that um, sizing wise I found really interesting. I got this high neck white tank top in a size 12. On the reviews, people said that it fit pretty big, so you should size down. But I was kind of in the market for tank tops like this and I wanted some that fit a little bit looser and some that fit a little bit tighter depending on like what I'm wearing on the bottom. So I did get this in a size 12 and I got a different color in a size 10. But the sizing is so different guys. So this is a size 12 that I'm showing you right now. And then the next one I got in a nude in a size 10. And these are only one size apart and they are the same exact shirt. And the white one has like three or four extra inches of material on me and I just find that bizarre like crazy that just one size was that different this is much tighter on me it still fits and it gives off the vibe that i want it to but yeah just keep that in mind that these like ribbed tank tops they seem to vary in sizes um and then lastly i got this other white ribbed tank top and you'll if you look at it on screen you're gonna be like chris that's the same exact shirt as before but it's not this has a uh, raw hem um, which kind of gives um, an edgier look to it um, and this is definitely closer to an under boob top than the other ones were um, and this is in a size 12 and it's even shorter than the size 10 in that nude top so uh, yeah definitely keep in mind that these kind of ribbed tank tops vary greatly in size and keep that in mind when you're looking through reviews and buying stuff from them so yeah, that's everything that I got from my first princess poly haul. Um, I'd overall say that I did pretty good with sizes and stuff but their sizing is so inconsistent that's definitely something that i realized ordering from them you have to be super careful but luckily their customer service is really helpful and their returns are easy i'd say the most inconsistent were those tank tops and then also the bottoms the bottoms were all the same size and they all fit me completely differently the plaid skirt was big on me the pants were way too tight on me and then that other skirt fit me like just right in the waist so um pants i'm definitely hesitant to buy from them in the future although they are really cute i guess i'll just have to be weary when i'm ordering from them um, and definitely like just keep track of my measurements and then um also the tank tops are definitely hit or miss sizing wise but overall i'd say that if you are in the size 10 to 12 range to give princess polly a shot if you want to it's definitely worth a shot their stuff is really cute and it is good quality um, for the cost i hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and if you did go ahead and give it a like down below and subscribe to me if you want to if not i get it uh, i will see you guys next time